Alrighty guys, as promised I wanted to make a quick video talking about what's in my media machine and run over why I got what I got. Let's start off with the case. I grabbed the NZXT Phantom 530 in white. Honestly, I grabbed this one because it fit my motherboard and it looked cool. I've been super surprised with the case though. There's a ton of room and besides feeling like I almost ripped the top off during the install, it was pretty seamless and the cord management on the back side is absolutely fantastic. For the motherboard, I went with the Gigabyte X99. When purchasing this motherboard, I really had my eyes set on the future. DDR4 RAM at the moment is just way too expensive. But, in time, it will be brought down to a reasonable level, and I want my platform to be able to take advantage of that when it actually happens. On top of that, the motherboard got great reviews and came in with all the connections I needed. For the processor, again, I sank in a large portion of the overall budget. Almost everything in the PC is upgradable, but I want my processor to last as long as I possibly can, so I had to choose one that was relatively good. I'm going to be doing a ton of video editing on this machine, so I needed something that can handle a large workload. For this, the Intel i7-5930 Haswell will work just fine. One thing about the Intel processors is they can get really hot, especially if you get to the point where you want to overclock it. I recently upgraded to a water-cooled unit in my streaming PC, and I loved it. So I decided to do the same thing here. Granted, I got a little more beefed up one, but the look and the functionality of the Corsair Hydro Series H105 is absolutely amazing, and it got stellar reviews, so I couldn't really recommend this thing more. Speaking of that DDR4 memory that my motherboard can handle, I originally bought some DDR3 memory for the motherboard, but it was the incorrect pin size. If you want to check out me being being pissed off about that, you can check out my last video. After finding that was the wrong pin size, I quickly purchased some cheap DDR4 memory just to get the job done until the price comes down on DDR4 kits. This is an area where I honestly skimped out on because I know the prices will be reasonable within a year or so hopefully. That memory is stupidly easy to install, so when I do have to do that down the road, the install process will be relatively painless. As far as storage goes, I went with a 250GB Samsung SSD for running the OS and the editing suite, and a Western Digital Black 3TB drive running at 7200 for storage. Installing more drives down the road is going to be a cakewalk with the bays that this case has, so I'll probably be filling this baby up over time with storage drives. Lastly, this whole thing is being powered by a Corsair 1000 watt modular power supply. This was honestly overkill, but like I said, I'm looking to the future for this PC and I wanted to make sure that I would be totally fine regardless of the upgrades that I got down the road. On top of that, I love the idea of a modular power supply, so that was a must-have when looking into PSUs. And in conclusion, this girl is running Windows 8.1, and I know, I know, some people hate Windows, but in my professional experience, Windows, though it has its hiccups here and there, is a great platform and I prefer it, so... Yeah, that. Guys, if you want to see the exact items inside my PC, there are links in the description below. Feel free to click on those links and go buy all the parts and build your own. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.